A very good evening and welcome to the 7 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent cable of condolences to the President of Egypt, Abdul Fattah Al Sisi. His Majesty condemned the two terrorist bombings that targeted the Marjerjes Coptic Church in Tanta and the Church of St. Mark in Alexandria, resulting in tens of casualties and injuries, expressing deep condolences to the victims of the families. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Zakir Palace His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. They reviewed domestic and international issues regarding the kingdom's development and citizens' well-being. His Majesty the King asserted that the unity of Bahraini citizens, demonstrated in their strive for solidarity amongst themselves, makes up the foundation of the kingdom's development, alongside the spirit of coexistence and their desire to build up their country in line with Bahrain's heritage. His Majesty hailed the efforts of the kingdom's residents, saying they are respected and appreciated for their active role in the country's progress and constitute an important part of society. His Majesty expressed his deep appreciation for the efforts exerted by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in their continuous task of elevating the government's performance and service offerings. His Majesty extended his thanks to the government's cabinet ministers. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakir Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain, Dr. Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Al Sheikh, who handed His Majesty a written letter from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, inviting His Majesty to attend the King Abdulaziz Camel Festival. His Majesty expressed thanks to the custodian of the two holy mosques for the invitation, hailing the deep rooted relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. He also praised the continuous development of bilateral cooperation and coordination at all levels. His Majesty expressed appreciation and pride in the honourable stances of King Salman bin Abdulaziz towards the kingdom and its people, and his efforts to consolidate and strengthen Bahaini Saudi relations, as well as his leading role in promoting and developing Gulf action and his efforts in supporting the Arab and Islamic nations' causes. His Majesty affirmed Saudi Arabia's fundamental role in maintaining the region's security and stability to defend Arab interests and maintain unity and cohesion under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques. The President of Palestine, Mahmoud Abbas, will arrive tomorrow in Bahrain to meet with His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. Their meeting will include discussions regarding the deep-rooted bilateral relations in addition to the latest developments at regional and international levels affecting the Palestinian cause. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued Edict 6 of 2017, relocating ambassadors to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs General Court. The edict stipulated the relocation of the following ambassadors to the General Court of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Head of Bahrain's diplomatic mission in Japan, Ambassador Dr. Khalil Ibrahim Hassan, Head of Bahrain's Diplomatic Mission in India, Ambassador Tarek Mubarak bin Dana. Head of, Dip of Bahrain's Diplomatic Mission in Thailand, Ambassador Abdul Yusuf Satir. Head of Bahrain's Diplomatic Mission in the USA, Ambassador Sheikh Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa. And Head of Bahrain's Diplomatic Mission in Germany, Ambassador Ibrahim Mahmoud Ahmed Abdullah. The Minister of Foreign Affairs will implement this edict, which becomes effective from June 1, 2017, as it is published in the Official Gazette. His Royal Highness Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today a number of senior officials and expressed pride in the cohesive social fabric of Bahrain, saying the kingdom is a role model on the regional and international levels. He added that the progress and prosperity of the kingdom is thanks to the efforts and commitment of its people. His Royal Highness then discussed topics covered by the Bahraini press and writers in regards to national, regional and international development. He affirmed that the Bahraini press operates on the principle of national responsibility in dealing with issues concerning the kingdom and its people. His Royal Highness also discussed recent regional and international events and stressed the need for more advanced initiatives that enhance Arab cooperation in order to overcome all challenges and threats facing the region.
Deputy Prime Minister and Deputy Chairman of the Civil Service Council, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, launched a system to measure and follow up the performance of ministries and governmental authorities affiliated with civil services, according to the best global practices and internationally adopted methods. Bahrain is considered one of the first countries in the region to implement this system. Sheikh Khalid patronized the launch of the Enterprise Performance Management Project named Takamul. He said in a speech that the project will help develop the role of the government and its services to become amongst the top 20 countries in the world. The Deputy Premier highlighted that the project was guided by Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030, which is based on redefining the role of government to become an effective provider of services and implementer of projects that support the economy, as well as focusing on investing in national cadres. He affirmed that this project is a reflection of the directives of the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He hailed their support to the civil services sector and to the development of human capital in Bahrain. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs condemned the terrorist attacks that targeted the Mar Jirjas Coptic Church, or St. George in Tanta, and St. Mark's Church in Alexandria, in the Arab Republic of Egypt, which resulted in tens of casualties and injuries. The ministry reiterated the kingdom's solidarity with Egypt in the face of terrorism in all its forms and confirmed a support for all the measures undertaken by Egypt to maintain its security and stability. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs expressed its condolences to the government and the people of the Arab Republic of Egypt, wishing a speedy recovery to all those injured. The ministry affirmed that the criminal act will not divide the unity of Egyptian society that has always maintained a strong unified social fabric and is capable of combating and eradicating terrorism. The ministry renewed Bahrain's rejection of violence, extremism and terrorism and called on the international community to strengthen cooperation efforts to eradicate this phenomenon and its underlying causes, as well as prevent all means of its funding. The ninth scientific medical motorsport workshop was held today at the Crown Plaza. The event, in preparation for the Formula One, was organized by the Health Ministry and Bahrain Motor Federation and was patronized by the Minister of Health, Feka Al Salah. More in this report with Heba Abdul Ghaffar. Since safety and security are among the most important fundamentals of motorsport, and the Formula One, one of the biggest sport events, is coming up, Bahrain keeps up its efforts to implement the highest standards of precautions and risk management. 13 theoretical and practical lectures, in which highly skilled doctors and professional specialists discuss all steps and procedures of motorsport first aid, medical support and rescue, as well as dealing with various types of injuries in the presence of all concerned medical, nursing and technical staff. We do have around um, around 45 doctors, 55 paramedics, around 50 nurses. Remaining, uh, we've got some medical technicians as well, support team. Uh, we've got some doctors coming, volunteers as well from outside Bahrain. Each couple of years, there will be new guidelines for managing trauma patients, and all these are based on uh, statistics and research. So we make sure that we get the latest uh, guidelines for. Trauma management, head injuries, thoracic injuries, abdominal injuries, uh, limb injuries. Incredible efforts are shown by the fully aware and equipped team to ensure the safety of not only drivers but also marshals and participants. We take care of the people who are racing on the track, who are the, the drivers, and we take care of all the marshals who are coming uh, to, for the event. The marshals, marshals only, they, they are about 1,150. So we take care of all of them and we take care of all the people, the spectators who come to visit the place uh, to see the race. Uh, numbers go up to 50, 60,000. Not only on track, monitoring and inspecting food and beverages in the circuit is also discussed to maintain the highest levels of public health. Moreover, doctors from different countries and very old medical teams are here to share their expertise and exchange experience. One of my presentations is on airway management of injured people. And the other is involved with uh, how we take drivers safely out of a, a race vehicle after a crash. Uh, we have a special board that we've developed called the Med Board. And uh, Bahrain was one of the first people to buy these. The first execution of my job is uh, uh, 1989. Okay? It's the first execution in the world. It's undeniable that the internationally competent medical team is a key partner in the constant success of the Formula One event. 
Everyone is delighted with the Formula One coming up this weekend. But when it comes to safety arrangements, Bahrain does not take it lightly. Medical excellence is ensured by medical experts maintaining the highest level of risk management and safety precautions discussed today in the Motorsport Medicine Seminar held specially in preparation for the Formula One. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohamed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,374.75 points, marking an increase of 21.38 points above last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 63% of total shares. 111 transactions included 4,129,338 shares, worth 909,748 Bahraini dinars. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Zayani, affirmed Bahrain's ability to score another success in hosting one of the biggest international sporting events, the F1. He affirmed that the event will have a positive impact on the country on the economic and tourism levels to enhance the status of Bahrain internationally and attract more foreign investment. Economists expect this year's event will generate more than half a billion dollars in revenues.